The Seminoles rallied from a double-digit deficit in the second half, but could not come all the way back as Miami hit all the key shots down the stretch as Florida State fell to the Hurricanes 77-73. They just did a, a great job of making timely baskets. I mean, we were right there, but you, that's why you got to, sometimes it's not as much about what we didn't do as they just made some really tough shots. I thought uh, Reed came off the bench and those two shots he made were very timely. We talked about like you know once we score we we don't they don't we don't need a match. Uh, they scoring like you know we score they can't come down and score we need to stop so I think we pay we didn't you know make enough plays on a stretch um, not the short one so we'll just go move on from here. A lot of credit goes to them. <clears throat> we play hard and kept doing the right things on defense but they just hit tough shot after tough shot and you have to give it to them respect when they do that you know. They just uh, had a great mindset tonight, I guess. And, um, they were knocking out some tough challenge shots. Every time we we needed to get a break, they, they just put a dagger in the heart every chance they got. At this particular point, uh, obviously we, we dug a kind of a deep hole for ourselves. <coughs> and uh, we got to find a way to muster up enough energy to finish our season uh, or, or with some wins put ourselves in a position going to the ACC tournament, see how successful we can be. The main thing is we just got to stick together. Um, two in a row, two big ones in a row, you know, we just got to stick together, find that, just find that missing piece and bring it uh, back together like we did in the beginning of the season. Next up for the Seminoles, they hit the road and head up to North Carolina and Winston-Salem to take on Wake Forest on Saturday. That'll wrap up things for now. Lane Hurt, Seminoles.com.